on 10 a.m. on October 20th, 2020, I hit the reset button. I had to. I checked into prison. I didn't have a choice. I was locked in a cell. Although in FPC Montgomery, we have cubes that don't have doors. But um, anyway, long story short, um, that was a reset. It was a forced, top-down, you will reset yourself, and you had to obey. So, um, so that, that, I mean, that was the genesis of all. So I guess in that way, it was a reset. You know, I went from being incredibly connected to the world, an email every minute, a phone call, you know, blah, 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 to having no email access and, you know, like very, very limited phone calls. You know, being in prison was like being a monk. You're a monk. It's probably how monks live their life. They, they, they live a very simple life. And prison was a very simple life. The adjustment to prison was like ripping off a Band-Aid. It was just like, it was like, it was very, very stark change. You slowly start accumulating knowledge and accumulating stuff that you need to live your life in prison. In prison, I mean, I remember the, I remember about a month in, I got a pair of tennis shoes. I mean, in prison, you can buy tennis shoes at the commissary. They cost $90, but you only have $90 a week on your commissary. I'm not going to blow a whole week of commissary on a pair of tennis shoes. I couldn't afford it. I needed other stuff like food. And so one of my fellow inmates gave me this old, ratty, full of whole pair of tennis shoes. I mean, I must have been the third or fourth inmate that had worn those tennis shoes. Um, and that was like a really important day. And I got a pair of tennis shoes and I could actually go for a walk. And then I got a pair of shorts. And it just kind of went on that way. You, get, you start to get stuff. And I had a pair of shorts and I had a pair of tennis shoes. Man, now I'm living. Did you ever feel scared, nervous, anything about losing what you had worked so hard to build? It, it, it's fear of unknown, fear of loss, fear of all those things go through your mind. And you know what? You get over it, because you, you, what can you do? You don't have a choice, you're there. You can't leave. So yeah, it, it, all those thoughts go through your mind, but then this calm, you know, interesting, after about a week, you start to enjoy the peace. And it, it became very relaxing and very peaceful, and you started to get the, you started to get the flow of how prison was gonna go.